So what are you doing there, Kevin? Well, this is the part where we're applying the peel ply to the body of the car. This is actually to the trunk lid here. I was showing you earlier how I was uh, smoothing the trunk lid using actually uh, drywall mud. Uh, since we're going to be able to get rid of the trunk lid now, we can do that. We put the peel ply on now, and you got to try to make it as smooth as you can. We put down some spray adhesive, uh, 3M uh, spray adhesive works really well. And uh, then smooth the peel ply over the surface, trying to keep all your little wrinkles and stuff out. Once this is on, we'll size up our uh, fiberglass and make sure all these bubbles are out. We're going to have to pull that off so I get this bubble out here. That's good. Otherwise, you won't have a perfect fit. I need a little less tension when uh, you put your fiberglass on it. Um, now, if you do it right, the fiberglass should make a perfect match to the trunk lid, and then you can uh, cut this big heavy piece out that you've smoothed and filled with bondo with just a couple layers of fiberglass with a few ribs on the back. You can see it over there on that trunk lid. This is, this is how we started with that one to make a copy. And uh, also over on the dash, you can see we've come a little ways on that. I was able to pry it off this morning. And you literally pry it off when you're done. This is going to have to go in. We'll probably have to cut this. We've got to go into those grooves on this. Um, we wanna, we yeah, we want to get the scissors. Dad, did you grab the scissors? Right. Well, we're putting the fiberglass on top of the peel ply that we put on the hood a few minutes ago. Uh, this is our second layer. Um, we tried to cut large enough pieces that we could cover the whole hood, but it's a large hood, so it took about two pieces. And we need some relief cuts so that we don't end up with uh, wrinkles and bubbles underneath. That's what I'm adding to it right now. Alignment can sometimes be a little bit tricky after you've had the piece off it, uh, if you weren't paying a lot of attention to where you took it from. Once we have this done, we'll lay the last, we'll lay a, a sheet of peel ply over it, it's laying right there, and we'll roller it out real smooth. And we'll roller and roller and roller and roller and roller it some more and, and let it dry some. And I'll do the trunk lid and then we'll roller it and we'll come back and roller this some more. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with a nice smooth replica of the hood when we're done. Uh, and we'll pop it off, we'll have a couple layers of thick fiberglass, a nice light hood. We'll glue foam ribs on the underneath side and then over that apply more fiberglass over the ribs and that will make the hood rigid and give it a lot of strength. Um, and then we'll have a, a, a hood that weighs about half to a, a third as much as the uh, existing hood. But we had to make the hood that we have now and use it as a template to do this. The other way to do it would have probably been to make a foam hood and then, uh, or a plug basically, that was your hood. However, we didn't know if we'd have time to do that. We also didn't have the skill until after we went to the first shakedown event and we talked to a bunch of uh, very experienced, intelligent people that have been in the automotive industry a long time building custom cars. and They gave us a few hints and clues about how to do this. It was an excellent opportunity to, to share ideas and information I know it helped us a lot. I hope that we were able to be of some help to some of the other teams as well. Okay, we're on one of the last steps here. We've applied our, our peel ply on the hood. We've put two layers of fiberglass on it, and now we're putting the top uh, application of peel ply. And you want to try to make it real smooth. So we got Pat holding up the, uh, the end, and I'll slowly work this down. And once this is all worked down, we'll start rollering it out and uh, make the fiberglass underneath as smooth as we can. And tomorrow we'll be able to pull the peel ply off and we'll have a 
uh, basically a form, or we'll have made a mold of the hood out of a couple layers of fiberglass. It's much lighter than the original hood. Uh, and we'll put mounts on it, ribs, mounts, and we'll put it on the car. The peel ply now uh, over the top layer of fiberglass. I think I'm missing something in the process because I can't get it perfectly smooth. Uh, it's possible at this point you'd have to vacuum bag it, but I don't know. So we're going to do the best we can. We'll have a couple of discrepancies or little, uh, I don't want to call them, uh, uh, variations in the hood that might need a light filling when we're done. But it's, it's better than what we started with, and we'll have a hood that weighs about a third as much and is just as strong.